What's up YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It's Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. The time has come again. We are reviewing your artwork over on the Aerosol subreddit. It's been like a long time since I've done one of these videos, uh, all relative of course, but it's been close to a month and there's a lot of submissions to get through. So it's gonna be a little bit faster through each painting. I might have to skip a few and it's gonna be a lot less polished and edited. Nonetheless, we're gonna check out your artwork. I issued a challenge last week to do a rainbow spray paint piece. Uh, you guys did that, so we're gonna check those out first. I just typed in rainbow into the search bar for the subreddit. Uh, so if you do submit to further challenges, make sure to include the challenge name in there so I can find your submissions. First up by Jax, phenomenal painting. It's gonna show up a little later in the video as well. Really love what you did with this one. It's outside the box. You get some planetary stuff going on in the background and this kind of amazing rainbow shooting, uh, almost lasers. Awesome as usual, Jax. As we dig into this, shout out to Jax and all of those others who have supported the channel on Patreon. Head on over to Patreon. Link's gonna be down below somewhere, so check that out. Shout out to Jax, I think it's Spray Paint Guru, so Canvas Spray Paint Art, looks like they changed the YouTube channel name. Go check out their channel and show some love their way. Thanks so much for the support, it's greatly appreciated. Next rainbow challenge piece here, some dueling unicorns, very, very nice. And some rainbow planets, this is pretty phenomenal, lots and lots of planets going on, lots of different textures. I especially like this like Jupiter looking one here. Awesome. Rainbow unicorn, rainbows and unicorns, hand in hand. Rainbow bridge by Keith Davies, style popping through as always. Love that planet in the top right corner. Very, very cool. Got some rainbow Thor going on with some lightning bolts. I like the style of this one. Some more rainbow planets. Some more rainbow unicorns, same rainbow unicorns, different rainbow unicorns, rainbow unicorns. A very literal rainbow, so thank you for taking the challenge seriously. Very nice stuff, I like the landscape too. Bonks, I think, I pulled these ones off to the side, so I'm not dropping the names unless I know who it is, so uh, really cool. Outside the box, definitely different from all the other rainbow submissions. And we have some planetary rainbows going on as well. This week's challenge is landscape challenge. So if you want to submit and be part of the challenge, make sure to pop on over to the Aristotle subreddit and submit your landscape spray paint. Put landscape challenge in your title and I'll be able to find it easier for the next video. Now we're going to get through a lot of painting, so bear with me, this train is going to keep rolling. Fen with a nice unicorn scene and wearing a mask. That's always good to see. Ethan Coleman with painting number two. Really cool effect with the galaxy. I dig it. Wiles with the nice black and white scene. Nice job, Wiles. Dad two boys with a nice little multicolored planet. I like how those play off each other. Some input from his kids there. Nice cool long piece from Farmagogo. Lots of different effects on there. I think you literally still have a planet stencil stuck on this thing, but very cool. A couple of dueling pieces here. These are on like uh, maybe poker chip cases or something like that. Very cool. Thanks for the submission, Andrea. Farmagogo with a second submission. Love the vibrant colors and I'm realizing it's like a doorknob or a latch. It's not a planet stencil, so. East side art with an Africa sunrise. Very nice, liking the technique and the blending there. Then with another unicorn appearance and reloading on some paint. Hida, there's the submission. So there's your name from the Rainbow Challenge. East side with another nice blue and red piece. Digging that one. Keith Davies, enough said. Blitzkrieg coming out with a painting three of four. Uh, followed the tutorial, definitely a good start. Stick with it, you're gonna see those results get even better as time goes on. Yeah, you gotta wear gloves, Finn. Oh, you did wear gloves. This on you, I don't know. 
don't spray the paint into the gloves. Bowden with a really cool kind of subtle red scene with some water. I'm digging that. Weathermage with a nice little desert. Uh, I think it's a cactus and landscape in the background. Yeah, desert sunset. Weathermage with some colliding planets. You did a great job of this. Definitely see that burst. I uh, definitely see the shrapnel going off and a really nice color scheme. Conceal tossing out a nice orange scene for us. Fen with a little mermaid action underwater scene liking the results of this one like the bubbles shadow thanks so much for the submission cool mountain technique like this weather mage definitely a rainbow submission Hans from austria with a lot of submissions a little while ago but some really cool art so we're just flipping through those right now free very cool wolverine scene i've been told your name is pricks so i'm gonna it's hard for me to change it up but I'm gonna to try to call you by your real name. I like this, I really like the subtle detail on the skyline, so props to you on that. Some more from Hans here. Cord and arrow with a really cool contrasting red and green. Lots of waterfalls, lots of stuff going on. Well done. Cool moon piece here, wolf and moon piece. Green landscape, this is gonna fit well with the landscape challenge, so. You're already in there. Another Wolverine piece. This one from Acrobatic Home. Very cool. Love the Godzilla vibes. This is unique. It's outside the box. You don't see a lot of spray artists doing stuff like this. So uh, really dig it. I'm going to investigate your picture a little more. Got your socks going on. You have some dog toys in the background. Okay. Spray paint art toilet. I like it. Nibs, first attempt at pyramids. Solid first attempt. You're going to want to... Have that metal line and have one of the sides of the pyramid kind of shaded in. Uh, nonetheless, very cool vibes. Conceal with a unicorn. Definitely a unicorn theme going on this week. Keith with another kind of more subtle rainbow. Jenny submits a painting of what I'm guessing is a real life building. It is always hard to paint something that actually exists, especially with spray paint art, especially in our style. I think you did it justice here. I don't know what the real building looks like, but your version is pretty cool. Nibs with the first sold piece. Congratulations on that. Dtrex, DT Rex with a howling moon. Jenny Hayes with the full moon painting. I like your style. I don't know if you've submitted on the subreddit before, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, the foliage on your trees and even your grass and whatnot is very nice. So keep at it and keep sharing that good spray paint art. Skanking slow, skanking slow. That was hard to read. Uh, very cool painting, thanks for the submission. Poured an arrow with a little Maleficent painting. I don't really typically dig these like Disney characters, but I like what you did here. It's not just a silhouette on a white crackle background. Uh, you incorporated you know, some more stuff outside and kind of two costra contrasting scenes with a nice castle. So I give you props on this one and I am a fan. East side going through a, you know, a time of mourning and painting it out. That's always you know, a good way to, to release some whatever you're feeling, whether you're happy, sad, uh, get those cans going, get some creativity flowing. I think he's dedicating this one to his grandfather. So uh, very nice piece. Thanks for sharing, Nibs. Lost Sheep with an earth and moon. I found out Lost Sheep lives in my city. Uh, so comment below if we should maybe get together and do a spray paint painting together. Uh, definitely cool submission. Thanks so much. I'm a fan of your work and uh, pretty cool that we're both Edmontonians. Stay warm out there. It's kind of like spring today. It's pretty nice. Skanking slow with a lion piece. I like it. I like the waterfall. Very good job. D good titles this one, the gatekeeper. It's got a very surreal uh, effect to it. Bonks with a clock submission. Uh, cool concept. I think I saw someone else do a clock this week as well. I would say that green record needs a little bit more going on with it. Uh, it's kind of crackled. It's kind of cool. Um, but I'm excited to see maybe a future clock from you with, with, you know, a little bit more of a scene or a little bit more of an abstract going on. Where do you guys get the clock stuff from? I'm sure you just Google it. Pettigrew CZ with a pump of life painting. This is awesome. I'm guessing it's a stencil from the looks of it. Uh, it's a really cool concept and I think it's one of my favorite paintings this week. I like the background, all the colors, it all just kind of jives. So thanks so much for sharing. Granny Jan painted her old bedroom mirror and this is a spooky, awesome scene. 
I like this one a lot. Definitely get an eerie feeling. There's fog over kind of the swamplands and these cool, crazy trees. Thanks so much for sharing. Keep them coming and appreciate your artwork, Jan. Spray my way with a very cool African savanna, savanna, if you will. Uh, loving the trees, loving the elephants. Very cool vibes. Janice T submitted like her, her spa area with a nice kind of landscape and some foliage. She's painting washing machines, just paint everything. I love it. That should be the new challenge. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Spray paint on objects that you would not typically see spray paint on. Cool stormtrooper scene. I like that. I like that planet in the back a lot. I like how it's kind of fading out. Ooh. Okay, Smays. S Mays. I don't know. These are hard to interpret what I'm supposed to say. Uh, doing some paint pouring mixed with spray paint art. Sounds like his sister-in-law does the pouring. He does the spray paint art. It's super cool. It is really, really cool. Um, we're not going to watch the whole video, but go in the subreddit to check out the process of pouring the paint. The result is phenomenal. So I, I give you kudos for kind of thinking outside the box. We'll get to the painting in just a minute here. Bowden. I really like this. I like the flowing kind of cascading space gas galaxy stuff you got going on. Here's, I'm gonna go with Smaze. So that's what we're rolling with. Here's the paint pour turned into a planet with some Rick and Morty. Uh, I love so much about this painting. That planet, the texture is like nothing I've seen before. Uh, really, really like that. Uh, great job on the subtle foreground effects with some highlighting and this Rick and Morty. It's not just a black stencil. You got some highlights in there. I uh, kind of capture the vastness of that planet. This is painting of the week. So thanks for the submission, keep them coming. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get to paint pour anytime soon to recreate these results, but I'll just live vicariously through your work and I'm a very big fan, so keep it up. Jack's with a very cool scene here. I like the texture of the planet, something very different uh, and a really cool background as well. That signature is on point. Is this a stenciled signature? Or is that how you write that nice? I can't write that nice. Pricks with a cool Star Wars scene. Star Wars and spray paint, you know, they click. Odin with another cool piece. I like these almost laser-esque um, light sources that are popping out and uh, the composition of this one, nice job. Puffle Mugu with a crazy stencil piece. Uh, I think I actually watched the video because I didn't believe at first it was a stencil. It would take a lot of patience to do this many layers. Uh, it's very cool glow-in-the-dark effect afterwards. Kudos for you for having the patience. I'm sure there's some source material here, maybe some anime I'm not familiar with, but really good job. I'm impressed. White ice with a white icy scene. Artist Portico doing like a string pull. I think that's a technique uh, with a very cool kind of abstract, almost plant-based uh, painting. Again, very outside the box and I like it trying to get out of the uh, the painter's block where he's painting the same scenes of mountains and water and planets. Uh, and it can be tough to do. So props to you for doing something creative with this form of art. Keith Davies, Purple Pathway. Uh, love the way you're able to blend your mid-ground in with everything and not just have water every time like I do. Very cool painting as always, Keith. Didn't have the name at the start of the video. Weather Maj is behind this beautiful, beautiful rainbow painting. Definitely high up there on the list this week for submissions. Rex is gonna get credit for the unicorns. We're, we're kind of working a little bit backwards here, but I'll try to give you guys some credit. Spray My Way with a cool rendition of the movie Up. I like it. You wanna know if the painting is any good? Yeah, it is. Keep it up. Maybe a little more clouds, uh, but camera's wobbling. Nibs is the oldest home from art school giving spray art a shot. Stoked to see that uh, you're wearing respirators and cool to see that it's a bit of a family affair at this spray paint thing so uh, keep it up guys. Hope you're having fun. Hans with a really nice orca whale. Uh, orca is a very cool and fairly simple multi-layer stencil. It's only two layers and it's a pretty effective look because the orcas are just black and white. Uh, really good execution here and uh, looks like a, a nice little heart canvas or board that you're painting on. East side hitting up the Montana gold for the first time definitely has a big difference on the paint, uh, on the outcome of the painting. So cool to see you're experimenting and trying stuff out. Rust-Oleum will always have a place in my heart, but I think my go-to is Montana gold. 
Nim's second youngest, wearing a mask, rocking the spray paint art. Very cool. Keith Davies, stunning yellow and purple planet going on here. Very cool. Dad, two boys, eight-year-old working on some stencil stuff. Very proud of this, and he should be. And uh, I'm sure mom was happy to see it as well. Bowden, another first attempt at pyramids. Same kind of feedback as earlier in the video with another first attempt at pyramids. Just want to shade that one kind of corner uh, to make sure you get that 3D look, but it's, it's coming together nicely. Keep playing around with those. Spray my way with a very cool, you know, multi-layer, not a multi-layer stencil, but stencil within a stencil and some really cool uh, scriptive writing here. I'm not too sure what it says, but it's a really nice execution. Color schemes on point and your results are nice, crisp and clear. So good job. DT Rex with the cool lighthouse scene. I watched the movie, The Lighthouse. It's kind of creepy and eerie. And I might be doing a lighthouse soon myself. I did a, a few back in the day of famous lighthouse here in Canada on the East Coast. I forget the name right now. Uh, Christie's Cove or something like that. Peggy's Cove. Uh, so I painted them in the past, but that creepy movie got me thinking. So maybe I got a lighthouse coming up in the future myself. Fen rocking some stencil work. And there's the result. Very, very cool stuff. East side with a nice little multi painting submission. Thanks for all your artwork this week. D good, cool, very surreal style you're developing for yourself. So keep sharing those paintings. I don't think I shared all the rainbows. Here's another one. This is a cool concept. Uh, looking outside out of a window. Maybe I did share it. I don't know. This video is going a little long. Thanks for the submission, Conceal. Much appreciated. This definitely could have been rainbow vibes. Happy Paintball tuning in from Australia and sharing that spray paint art. Ozzy with a nice little underwater ditty. Jax again. It's Canvas, another Patreon member. Go on over and check out the channel for It's Canvas. I think the name is swapped up to Spray Paint Spray Art Guru. Nonetheless, click the link below. Go subscribe to a fellow Aristotle community member and show some love. Jagger Brower is about a week in and coming along nicely. Thanks so much for sharing your work. I uh, like the result. Keep it up. I'm excited to watch your progress. Smays, I knew it. I saw those uh, swirly vibes in the background. This is really, really cool. Really good job. Uh, keep it up. I want to see all your paintings. Nice. Fen's piece got a home and a nice little spot to hang in a wall. Nibs with some fluorescent. Just gotta work on that shading nibs. I, I, I'm seeing it in a lot of them, so that's good, it's coming along, but make sure those planets are shaded because they kind of just like round circles in the sky if you don't shade them. So a uh, really cool color scheme, really like the terrain in the front, and I like the planets. Just gotta shade them. No shade, just shade. Snow Jay with a bunch of planets in there. Really like it. Thanks so much for sharing. Hope you keep submitting some work in the future. D good. This thing is super cool. I don't know what it is. Wise eyes. Uh, I mean this with all respect. It kind of reminds me of like an onion man. It's even got like the red eyes. Like they're irritated. It's really cool. It's outside the box. And again, that's the stuff I'm really digging uh, this week is those ones that don't look like traditional spray paint art pieces. So I don't know how you came up with this one, but it's pretty, pretty cool. Prex, this one is very, very cool. Nice job in the waterfalls. I love the kind of Northern Lights vibe in the Green Planet. Thanks for all your work this week. Sorry, I couldn't show all of it. Prince Sinistra with a three panel piece. I'm digging it. Those are fun to do because you can play around with a few different designs in the same painting and not get kind of stuck on one theme. So very cool stuff. Toss some shading on some of these planets and it would pop even more, uh, but I'm digging it. Prince Sinistro with the dream catcher with some cardinals in there, uh, liking the outcome of this one. Cool underwater scene by the same artist. D good, I love this one. I love how it's backlit and uh, it really makes things pop and it makes that silhouette very effective. Keep submitting that good stuff. Bowden did a painting with his ex-wife, props. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Cool result. Then, like it. You're not sold on it, but I am. 
and I'm sure everyone else here is too. Ozzy's art studio, very cool. Much less cluttered than most of ours, so give you some credit on that. Fenn's test run on a Ronald McDonald Joker. Cool piece. I want to see that thing on a canvas or a poster board or something. Indie AFK, just getting started in spray paint art. Definitely got the colors down pat for sure. Uh, thanks so much for sharing. Hope to see more of your work. Got a Spyro themed piece all framed and ready to go from Indie AFK. East side with kind of wispy and whimsical scene. I like this one. Smays again. How cool is that? Uh, really clean result. You got a nice subtle touch with the foreground stuff and obviously that paint porns on point. Weather Maj with a very cool, cool stencil. Maybe not even a stencil piece. I don't know. Yep, stencils, but you did some highlighting and shading uh, with that, and I think the result is awesome. With those silhouetted stencils, it does help to do you know, a little bit of highlights here and there. It makes it pop. Another lighthouse. I got to do a lighthouse. I'm sold. Lighthouse in the future. Wicked job on this one. It's amazing. I'm not super into Harry Potter, but this thing is is wild. You got that cool paint pour in the background, kind of this multi-layer spirit stencil thing going on in the background and nice silhouette in the front. I'm gonna slap some upvote on that. Looks like Jack's painting from this week to found a home. So obviously a very cool piece and I'm glad to see a pal of yours has a nice new original Jack spray paint piece. Tank with two paintings side by side both are claiming to be the first ever painting which one is it one of these is not the first one very cool attempts nonetheless thanks for sharing oh i'm seeing okay first try part one part two part three it's not how first tries work per se but thanks for sharing keep it up another harry potter themed painting it's kind of cool to see that some of the stuff comes through you know in themes each week. Pricks with a nice big old city. Law Sheep with a very, very cool stencil piece. Simple. The blood is flying in the background here and an homage to the movie 300. Super cool stuff. Cord and Arrow with a Finding Nemo piece. This is really well done. Uh, I want to hear if you... You must have painted these, I'm guessing by hand. Maybe it's stencil work, but you did a great job capturing the characters. I like the shipwreck in the background and a pretty cool underwater scene. Those jellyfish are super cool too. D good black and white landscape. This is awesome. It's my favorite one of yours this week for sure. Nib's got a space city going on. Really cool bursting galaxy in the background. Snow Jay. Tossing out a city. Cool result there. Keith Davies with a record. That's looking awesome. Records are a cool thing. They they hold spray paint really good. And you can pick them up for uh, super cheap at a thrift shop. If it's something good, just send it to me, though. If it's good record, don't paint on it. Black Ship by Keith Davies here. Tanko with a really vibrant, uh, probably unintentional, maybe rainbow submission. Very cool stuff. I like the blue around the planets. Pricks with another Star Wars. Got some Vader going on here. Conceal with a cool kind of melting skull and some misty vibes in the background. That's unique. I like it. Nibs and his stencil stones. The stuff to hold down his stencils. Uh, very cool stuff, Nibs. Looks like you found some buyers for these. Oh, you're turning them to magnets. Very cool. Ozzy with a cosmic hull piece. Kind of seeing the progression from Dr. Banner to very big and angry Hulk. Keith Davies, wow. Mountain Eye, very cool. And finishing off with Anubis Perry, lots of stencils going on in this one. Shout out to all of you who submitted your artwork this month. It's been a minute, so I'm gonna try to do these a little bit more often. Uh, got tied up a little bit with some travel, obviously working a full-time job as well. It's nice to take a peek at what you guys have come up with. For those of you who just shared for the first time, thank you so much. For those of you who are watching and haven't yet submitted, head on over to our Aristotle subreddit. I'd love to see your spray paint artworks and maybe you'll be featured in a future video. Shout out to all the Patreons. 
If you guys want to throw some love this way, head on over to Patreon and pledge some support. As little as $1 is all it takes. If you really love the channel, you sure. There's a couple other options there. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell on this video and make sure that you're in tune when these videos go live. You can chat along in the premiere. Until next time, guys, happy painting, and I'll see you again in a future spray paint art video.